Hello everybody and welcome back to our tips and tricks series of Doc2 video clips. We are again still in our special series about the 1.3 software version. And uh, my name is Michael, I am from Tech Support here at ME Lighting International. Today I picked a cryptic sentence from the release notes. I am not sure if everybody knows what we mean with this. And this is what we want to talk about today. Under other enhancement, you find added display of a fader indicator for button executors if the virtual fader position is not at 100%. Ooh, what do they want from me? I show you, I show you what it's good for. Display of a fader indicator for button executors. Okay. If the virtual fader position is not at 100%, what the heck is the virtual fader position? Why do we need this function? We need this function because I have to explain you a little bit. Let's say you try to grab all of my lights and um, I make a little queue out of that. And this queue is on a button executor, like this one. Clear the programmer, da da da. This is now, it's coming from a playback. Let's say uh, one reason among others is why do we need this new function of a virtual fader indicator. Um, you've got it on a button executor. You maybe don't want to spend your faders for everything like this. So you've got this on a button executor. How do you dim them? They are not selected. Of course, you can pull the grandmasters. That's not the problem. Let's say these four lights, you've got more on your console and you don't want the others to be dimmed. So what possibility do you have to dim them quickly? You always, or most of the time, if you don't want to use this or don't want to build quickly a group master, you have to select them. And um, Cosen, as you know, through, please, these are all of my lights, it's easy for me. And now you've got them on the dimmer wheel and you can dim them. But there's no way around that you select them to get them dimmed among from a group master, but no quick way. So, and it gets even worse if this is our new function, the super priority. We'll switch it off, yes, yes, yes. And switch it back on now even through please super priority has a higher priority than your programmer so how do you dim them and one possibility is very quickly you have nothing selected you could say at 50 on this one and you see that this even is more worth than super priority but now we come to the new function, you see there this little indicator. That indicates you that if you work like this, at 100, back on here, at 60, this one, then you need to notice that you're running it back from a button executor, but the virtual fader is not at 100% at the moment. And even if you switch this off, this indicator stays. That's why we have this added display of a fader indicator if virtual fader position is not at 100%. Hope you got it. Hope you like it. That's it for today. Thanks, folks. Speak to you soon. Bye.